everyone, it's Chrissy. I'm here for part four of the single sailor brief as a part of the return and reunion curriculum. So this is a San Diego specific brief, kind of talking about some of our attractions and things to do. Um, if you have ever thought, and I'm talking to people who haven't been here before, um, San Diego is a very expensive place to live. But one of the things I really like about living here is there are a lot of, um, there are a lot of free things to do in San Diego. There are things that you can do um, that tourists die to come to San Diego to do that are free for service members or just free activities in general. So for example, if I ever feel down on myself that uh, I can't go on a fancy vacation or uh, I feel like things are tight, I remind myself that as a service member, my service member could do this, I can as a civilian, I could go to the San Diego, to any beach in San Diego. There are many. Um, I can go to the San Diego Zoo for free as a service member with my active duty ID. And I can go to SeaWorld for free once a calendar year. So look at all the people who saved for the whole entire year to get five plane tickets, five nights in a hotel, to go to the beach, San Diego Zoo, and SeaWorld. And that's something you can do for free in one day. So that's a nice benefit. Um, you can contact us or contact ITT. Uh, we have several lists of free activities for you, but I have a few with some pictures, and these are just some of the things that I like to do. So normally I will say like, hey, where is this in San Diego? Um, just due to technology, I'm going to actually have this written below. This is Comic-Con, and I'm sorry to say, uh, it's canceled this year. However, um, there are many other events like this at the San Diego Convention Center. And what, again, one of the things I really like about San Diego is if you like bridge, if you like playing bridge, like, uh, like my neighbor used to when I was a little girl, um, there's a bridge club in San Diego. If you want to learn Italian, there are people who get together in Little Italy um, and learn Italian every once a week. So I feel like there is a group and a place for every flavor of person in San Diego, and this is an example of it. So I like to people watch during Comic-Con, although not this year, okay? This one I say where in San Diego. This is the La Jolla Cove. This is where you can go and see the uh, seals come up and beach. Um, you can walk around in this area. San Diego, uh, La Jolla is just like any other cute San Diego town. Nice shops, um, good place to walk around. People watch, shop, um, get a nice cup of coffee. Um, so that's another free activity that you can do. Um, some of the other attractions we talked about, we talked about the San Diego Zoo, which is free for um, for service members anytime with their active duty ID. Um, for dependents, you can, um, we, our family gets passes, and if we go just twice within a calendar year, they're paid for at that point. Um, the Midway Museum, I know you're dying to get off a ship and go to the Midway. Um, what I would suggest with this, though, is if you have a, if you come from a family that doesn't quite understand uh, life on aboard a ship or hasn't ever been on one, this is an opportunity for you to bond with them. Um, take your nephew or your niece or your little brother or um, your parent and say, this is what I was kind of going through. You remember when I couldn't send any email back or send a gift back? It's because there's only a certain amount of time that the shop's open and this is where we were eating. So I think that's a good opportunity to bond and service members get in for free um, on certain holidays and then I think as they get discounted tickets throughout the year. Um, Belmont Park is uh, like an amusement park that's on the water so it's a really pretty place to go. It has like carnival rides. Um, Balboa Park is one of my favorite places to go. Um, Tuesdays is resident free um, and they also have additional free museums through the between in the summertime through the Blue um, Blue Star Families program. So they'll open up more museums that are free with your active duty ID during that time. So check and see um, what you can get. They also have passes that you can buy as well. Um, the aquarium is fantastic. It's right there on the water in La Jolla. Very beautiful views from there. Um, Seaport Village, this is going to be renovated. I actually have a picture of it later in the brief. Um, but also a cool place in downtown that's different from the gas lamp, just a different flavor of downtown. 
Um, SeaWorld, we talked about that, Legoland, and then the Living Coast Discovery is nice um, to learn about some of our aquatic animals and sea life. So this one I talked about that San Diego is going to be renovated. These are some markup pictures of how they're going to change it. They're going to make it more of a kind of a um, fish market back to some of its roots as being a port. Um, so this is to be to become later. Um, I don't think this is on here as well, but they've actually created a um, what they called a shell, which is where they're going to be holding outdoor concerts. So that's um, that's a new area in downtown San Diego. Some of those concerts are free, by the way, during the summertime. So you just have to check your um, check you know local papers and see where are the free concerts. And um, there's several of those throughout summertime. Um, so I like to show this picture for people who say, well, I don't really like the beach. Okay. <laughs> um, if you are willing to take a quick road trip, just a few hours, sometimes even less than two, um, you can get up to Mammoth Lakes and you can ski, um, be with nature in their lakes and parks. Um, so that's another great um, area you can go to as well. For those of you who aren't big on the city lifestyle, um, Julian is close, um, is nearby, short driving distance. Our family goes out for fall festivals or pumpkin patches. They have famous pie from there. So if you want to feel like you can get back to your small town roots, Julian is nearby and that's a nice easy thing for to do on the weekend. So sports teams, again, sports teams are not happening right now. <laughs> um, the sports section in our paper is like one tiny little section. <laughs> Um, but we do have these here. I put a ch I put a, an X through to the Chargers because I usually get a boo when that shows up on the uh, on the slides. They are in LA, which is not too far if you're willing to make the drive. Um, but the Lakers, the Rams, um, the Padres are in San Diego. This is the Padres Stadium right downtown. Um, if you are like, for example, I like to mention too, some people will feel uh, limited because they don't have a vehicle. If you're in the barracks, for example, on North Island, that's where you're stationed, um, you can walk to the Coronado Ferry and take the ferry into downtown. If you go before 8.30 a.m., it is free for commuters and you get a return pass. So that's another way you can go in and out, back and forth. Uh, this is Liberty Station. So this is another area right near the water. This is in Point Loma. Um, but nice restaurants, events throughout the year, uh, parks for kids. There's a pathway that you can ride your bike, um, but it's just another really fun area. And for our veteran sailors, some of them might have actually gone through here uh, through when it was a Naval Training Center. So it's kept a lot of the Navy elements and Navy pride. So um, that's something I like to do with my children, something I like to do for a day for a different area. And just another picture of Liberty Station. Uh, there's also a USO there. So the USO will offer free bread and free dry goods and then have um, their Tuesday night free dinner. And they change that between downtown and Liberty Station. But in, when they open and do their Tuesday night free dinner at Liberty Station, they usually do it outside. So that's another way for you to get a free meal. And most of the time they are, they are using donated food from restaurants. So think too that your meal at the Tuesday night free dinner might actually be the same meal you could get at a restaurant. So that's another nice thing. Um, this one here, <laughs> so people think that this is ridiculous, but yes, that is a dog surfing. Um, my family and I went to the Imperial Beach Dog Surf Competition. I hope it will be happening this year. Um, but once again, just another way, free activity to just go and watch the dog surf. Um, something for everyone in San Diego. This is another picture of a place you can go and ski in Big Bear. Um, really pretty, wonderful. This looks a little bit like uh, Tahoe where our family spent uh, some of our free time when we were stationed in Fallon. Um, so really beautiful areas there. ITT can get you ski lift tickets if you're interested in doing something like that. Um, hiking is a free activity. Many of these places are, are uh, closed right now, but not all of them. So that's a, um, something you can check into. Um, usually state parks or federal parks are free for service members. Um, show them your ID if they're asking for a fee and sometimes that will be waived. But check that out, that's, this is potato chip rock. 
Um, this is where there are some tar pits, and I think this is like Sunset Cliffs area. So hiking is great. Again, another picture of Sunset Cliffs. Fantastic free activity, healthy activity. Um, these are the thing about San Diego, or not San Diego, California, is that all of our beaches are public access. So I like to remind service members that even though uh, you might be on a beach that's in front of a $5 million home, that beach in front of them is public access and you can access that at any time. Um, I can ask someone on here, uh, what's the funny thing about this one? It's, it's a nude beach, so don't take your date there unless that's the flavor of fun you wanna have. All right. <laughs> Point Loma Tide Pools, again, just another free space that you can go um, check out some wildlife, get out with nature. And this is one of my favorite things. This one's in Coronado, but concert in the park on uh, during the summertime. Uh, they'll have free public um, concerts, and most people will bring a picnic dinner and spend the night, spend the evening, kind of dancing, enjoying. Um, enjoying their community and enjoying the outdoors. So fingers crossed that we can do most of those things soon. If not, realize that um, even if your beach is closed, sometimes you can still get out to take a run or for your daily walk. Um, I would recommend for service members too that if you are venturing out, bring your ID with you always, not only because you need to be able to access base information and you need to identify yourself, but if you are stopped for any reason, there are different rules for who can be out and about um, for service members and for service members' families. Um, with that meaning that you would be out for your necessities and exercise or whatever is allowed at the time for the state and federal guidelines. So I'm gonna wrap up. Um, in closing, we wanna try and celebrate some of the changes that have happened. Um, to you and to those around you. Celebrate your goals and your accomplishments and take time to really reward yourself for going through something new and different. Um, and make sure that, like everyone else who comes back from deployment, um, celebrate little wins. Realize that um, if you lower your expectations, you're usually gonna be happier with the results, okay? And be patient with yourself and those around you. Fleet and family is still working for you. This is our centralized scheduling number. Most of us are working from home right now, not at our, um, at our locations, um, but we are available by phone and by email should you need anything. So we look forward to seeing all of your wonderful smiling faces soon. Um, be safe out there. And um, thank you for letting us come to you in an unconventional way. Bye.